It's become a fun and important feature of Chicago's LGBTQ community, an evening of storytelling every month. That's letting people share their lives and feel connected to others. As part of our celebration of Pride Month, we are taking you to Outspoken at Sidetrack in North Halstead. My partner Peter and I are standing in the shade of a tree along North Halstead. That is Stephen Barnes recounting an important part of his life. It's the lull between acts, so there's a hype person vamping on the mic. It was during Chicago Pride Fest 2022. The host pulled a man on stage and asked, Who was the first celebrity crush that made you realize you were gay? Without missing a beat, I lean over to my partner and I whisper in his ear, Tommy the Green Power Ranger. <laughs> Barnes realizes that was a turning point. My idolization of Tommy the Green Ranger is the memory I look back on and think, man, that's when I should have known I was gay. This is Outspoken, a storytelling series for the LGBTQ plus community. Archie Jemjun is the curator. I think storytelling is like, it brings to people what church used to bring to people. Like you get together, you, <laughs> confess a little bit you know you just you share and find community here but my eight-year-old feelings for Tommy put me squarely in the born this way camp in 2024 outspoken is celebrating 10 years we've got unique stories that have to be told especially at a time like this um, when our stories are trying to be stamped out I think it's really fulfilling a need for people to get up and share that's what keeps it going is that we have people that still want to tell their story. People like Sammy Hasen. So let me take you on a journey of the closest I ever got to success as an entrepreneur so far. Who told the audience about trying to make a birth control holder for your phone. Can you imagine how many people ignored me at best to avoid such a taboo topic? Ultimately, her company didn't make it. I don't think my story is gonna go change all of the venture capital industry, but I hope it at least provides a sense of community and understanding. Community, understanding, and plenty of laughter. For a decade and counting. Without stories, what even is this life that we're living? Ain't that the truth? Outspoken happens the first Tuesday of every month. The curator says it is so popular that that show is full through the end of the year.